I would expect a positive outcome tomorrow, whether it be from Governor Newsom and the California Department of Public Health or from the lawsuit. In just hours, the fight to get high school athletes back on the court heads to a courtroom after a hearing Wednesday was postponed. A ruling is expected tomorrow in a lawsuit filed on behalf of two high school seniors. Fox 5's Kasha Gorgic spoke with the father of one of those athletes who is hopeful for tomorrow's outcome. She joins us live near the Embarcadero. Kasha. Good evening, Kathleen. Yeah, since December, we have really seen this movement pick up steam from rallies here outside the county administration building to schools really all across our state and, of course, including this lawsuit. Now, the people behind the Let Them Play movement to get our kids back to playing youth sports say they are hopeful about tomorrow. Every day makes a huge difference. There's a finite amount of time to get the fall sports in before we need to make way for the winter and spring sports. Fields remain empty as the clock counts down on the 2020-2021 school year. Marlon Gardenera is the head football coach at Scripps Ranch High School and the father of two high school athletes. His senior is part of a lawsuit filed in January challenging the state's pandemic restrictions that continue to prohibit youth sports, alleging there's no proper data to back up the decision. Let's be honest, most states have already played and most colleges have filled much of their roster. Uh, but I think they're always looking for California kids, so there's still a chance. Defendants named in the lawsuit include Governor Gavin Newsom, the State Department of Public Health, San Diego County, and Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten. A hearing scheduled for Wednesday was pushed to Friday after the state asked for more time. Gardenera's lawyers agreeing to meet Friday, but asking for a ruling that same day. As the state continues to inch toward reopening, including schools and maybe even sports, Gardenera says there's still a lot of good that can come out of the lawsuit if a judge rules in the athlete's favor. So if the lawsuit helps make clear that the unequal treatment high schools have received versus colleges and pros who've been allowed to continue, if the lawsuit succeeds, maybe it will make the way for, for some groups that might not be covered by the governor's decision. As we mentioned, Gardenera and people close to the Let Them Play movement, they say they have a good feeling about tomorrow, saying maybe the governor might even make an announcement about youth sports, perhaps before this lawsuit even has its hearing, which is tomorrow virtually with a Vista judge. Reporting live near the Embarcadero tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Be a bit of a race to see which decision comes in first. Thank you, Kasha.